Okay. Anyways, we had a really great trip. We had a great flight home. Um, anything else about Disney? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> so, we just wanted to talk about Cameron's birthday now, too, because we mm -hmm. came home and we celebrated her birthday for real. <laughs> love language is like gifts and so like birthday parties and like Christmas and things like that are really like meaningful to her I guess you could say because yeah. she just really like feels loved when people give her a gift <laughs> or like do something nice for her just pay um, attention to her <laughs> yeah she like she likes the attention those two things are, are like if you want to connect with her that's a great way to do it um, anyways, since she was a little girl, she's like loved planning parties. That's yeah. been <laughs> like her thing is to plan parties for her friends. And it's hilarious because one thing that we do as a family, like as a mom, when Nick's working, sometimes I'll take the kids over to the dollar store. That's like pretty close to our house. And we'll just like walk around and I'll let the kids buy one or two things. And it's just kind of an activity that we do without fail. Every time we go, Cameron buys <laughs> party stuff she doesn't go for toys or candy or she likes to throw a little crafts, pretend crafts like pretend parties right like, she throws parties she buys buy paper plates, plates. And stuff. <laughs> she buys paper plates and cups and napkins so funny and then we'll come home and she's like when is my party <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. I guess we gotta invite to friends help her over make now. Invitations and stuff. Yeah, she makes invitations all the time for parties. Um, anyways, it's really sweet. So she wanted to plan her party, and the last few years too, she's been really funny because she loves Halloween, mm -hmm. and so she's wanted like spooky parties. She wants to have scary birthday party, <laughs> not yeah. like, not like a princess party or something. Like last year, what was it like? A Maleficent. Maleficent. She wanted Maleficent. But it had to be scary like Maleficent, not like... Yeah. Not like cute. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and the year before that, I think it was like spooky monster party or something. Oh, yeah. Anyways, this year was the first year she was like, I want a unicorn party. And I was like, whoa, no more Halloween, I guess. She still loves it. Yeah. But like, that's the other thing about her is like, we, we do this reading app every, every day together usually. And the topic that she always wants to read about is Halloween <laughs> or That's like funny. scary stories. <laughs> and so we're always, anyways, she's really funny about that, but we love it. Like, I love that about her personality and she's confident about it. And that's, what's really mm -hmm. sweet. So this year we did a unicorn party um, and she had so much fun decorating, getting prepared, inviting all of her friends. Um, yeah. Th what was the best part of the party? For you. For me? <laughs> I don't know. Besides having um, a, a loud house full of kids for an hour. <laughs> they were having so much fun. Like We they, didn't even have to do any games. Like, they, they just, just went outside and played on the tramp forever, which was awesome. Mm -hmm. And then um, they came in and w we did uh, the present game where oh, Cameron was sitting in the chair. And then we'd blindfold her. And then her friends would come up in a funny voice and say, happy birthday. Um, oh, that was and she would so try to funny. guess who it was. And so if she gets it right, um, she, she would get present. that present. If not, that kid would go sit down and a new one would It come. was such a cute... It was so funny. <laughs> the kids loved it. They thought it was so funny. And um, I thought it was funny to watch her guess and to hear the funny voices of all the little neighborhood kids and stuff. It was, it was super funny. It was the best part. Um, and then after that, everybody was like, is it time for cake now? And so we were like, yeah. So we sit them down for cake. I'm like... And, uh, oh, we, well, we had to, like, put the candles in and light them and sing happy birthday and stuff. And it was so funny because after that, I'm like, all right, I'm going to cut the cake. And they all, like, cheered so loud. They're like, yeah! <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> so funny. That was fun. Kids love their cake. Um, yeah, she got some fun stuff from her friends, too. And I, I think she just had a really fun time being, like, one mm -hmm. thing that's important to her, and you can tell that it's important to her, is to have fun. Um, like when she says her prayers at night, she's, 
help us to have fun. <laughs> That's she like one staple. Yep. She wants to make sure everyone has fun and not just herself. She cares about other people a lot and oh, yeah. making sure that they have fun too. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing that's really, really sweet about her. Yeah. But I think she did have a really fun time and that was important to her. So yeah. I'm glad that we were able to create that for her. Definitely. So some things that we want to remember about Cameron at this age. Oh my heavens, Cameron is so thoughtful. She loves to make people feel special. Mm -hmm. And while we were at Disney, she actually noticed this girl behind us in line that had a birthday button on. She's like without any prompting from us, yeah. picked a flower off the side of the thing and is like, I want to give this to that birthday girl. Yeah. <laughs> and she hands it to her. And I mean, we had masks on, but you could tell the girl's face just totally lit up. Yeah. It was so and cute. I think she was turning like 12 or something too, which mm. is cool. I just think Cameron, it's really cool that Cameron, she wasn't afraid to, you know, talk to a child that was obviously older than her. Yeah. Um, and give her a gift. Yeah. Like she just does so things sweet. like that for strangers and like smiles at them and just, Mm -hmm. She's a very happy person. She makes everybody just and she makes people around her feel very and happy. Yeah. Um, and I I love that about her. And another thing that's fun about Cameron is she's really good at like talking. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ever since she was like eighteen months old, she yeah. just like could talk. She was like singing songs like really really young and she never had like the funny toddler talk. Yeah. Like she always she could pronounce could... her words like perfectly, like better than yeah. we could. <laughs> like, and so it's funny, even still, like the conversations that she'll carry on with other people. People always comment about how, what a great like conversationalist she is. Well, and they're intellectual too. Like, yeah. uh, some adults will be like, "Wow, I had a better conversation with her than like I do with most adults." Uh, yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> she's just very yeah intuitive or something. I don't know, but yeah. It's it's fun to talk to her because of that. Yeah. And I love that. <laughs> um, some stuff that she's into, she loves gymnastics and surfing. She soccer loves surfing. And science. What did she say the other day about surfing? She was like, Mom, I was born to surf. She's like, we need to move to the ocean so I can So I can surf. surf. <laughs> We're like, okay, we yeah. need to make that happen. And her favorite show is Soul Surfer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, which is such a cute, inspiring it's movie. It's a very inspirational movie. Yeah, and Bethany she'll Hamilton. all the time, she'll go get her swimming suit on and tuck her arm into it. Yeah. And she'll be Soul Surfer. Yeah. And she'll practice surfing on her couches. Yeah. And Grandma bought her a little surfboard yeah. for her birthday. And so now she can actually... Like one of those, one um, of those balance boards. Balance ones, yeah. And so now she can actually be a surfer. Yeah. <laughs> but then like the next day she'll say, I'm a gymnastics girl. Oh yeah. And <laughs> it goes back and forth between gymnastics and surfing. Exactly. Yeah. We'll see what happens. And then soccer she loves and science she loves. We bought her a little magic science magic kit. Mm -hmm. I would totally recommend this. I'll link it down below because it's national geographic. It's a right? national geographic. I just bought it at target. But it's a science magic kit, but it came with like a lot of science projects and all the materials that you need. Um, and just really, really cute, like, like five minute science tricks. projects that kids can do. That are do. like magic tricks. Kind of. And they've yeah. got like little gloves and a magic wand. Yeah, <laughs> and it's, it's super It's cute. adorable. And it's like, she's probably been through the whole thing already because she yeah. hasn't been able to stop putting put it away. She loves it so much. So That's awesome. I would would, recommend that. She'd rather do that. If your kid than is into science. Anything else. Yeah. Rather than like watch a movie or um, mm -hmm. play games or whatever. So yeah. yeah, but we just love Cameron. We're I know. I don't want her to grow up. We're sad that she's growing up. She's already six. But she's so confident and I just we, we I love her. I don't want her to lose that like we were talking about this the other day. The confidence that kids have is so magical, uh -huh. like, and it's sad that we lose that as people. Like, as, as we, we grow, grow up, up, we slowly lose our confidence, you know? And it just makes you think, like, how can you make a kid like, keep stay. that through their life? Like, not to be, you don't want them to be, like, overly cocky, but, right. but confidence. A yeah. Like, it's just being confident in yourself and your, your choices and the... Yeah. Anyway, so if anybody has any... Good tips, tips for that. Let us know. She's our first kid, so we're just <laughs> yeah. doing the best that we can. We're just trying to hold on to that. Um, but we love her. We love the energy that she brings into our home and the happiness. Mm -hmm. And so happy birthday, Cameron. Yeah. Happy birthday. We love you. And peace out. See ya. Cameron.
What are we setting up for? Uh, my birthday. Your birthday? And what are you making? Bags from the guests. Oh, that's okay. sweet. What are you putting in them? Um, bubbles, Rice Krispies, and glow sticks. <gasps> are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> So you first get the bags like this, and then you put one of these in, and three glow sticks. There. What are you guys making? Glow in the dark balloons. All right, what you doing now? I don't know. This, this is an long. experiment. We're gonna try to cut the glow stick open. Somehow, dump it in the balloon. Yeah, we're gonna need some goggles for this. Will you hold this, pinch it off? <laughs> Put the air out. Do you think these pour it out? <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, let go. Shake it. Oh. We're gonna be able to pull this up. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm videoing this right now. I don't think it's working. Here, I'm gonna cut this in now. And just let it fall. Oh, oh no! <laughs> it squirted it all over the place. <laughs> Look at that. <coughs> Oops, I made a mess. Oh, oh Nick! What? It's all over. Come look in here. Dad, I swear come look in here. <laughs> this is crazy. Get out of here. Oops. <laughs> the balloon just popped. <laughs> Let's find out where it went. Oh well, look, the stick came out the same place. Oh look, it's pretty full still. Whoa, whoa. Come look in the sink. Whoa! That's what our pantry looks like. Are you serious? Our sink has stars in it. Oh, I see. She took a rock and covered it with bioluminescent algae to create an aversion. Alright, we got the professional wrapping man. <laughs> Is that what I am? Oh, I don't look very professional. <laughs> Making birthday breakfast. What do you request for breakfast? Uh, cinnamon. Cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon rolls. <laughs> Say that again. Cinnamon rolls. <laughs> but in my hair. I'm not getting it in it. <laughs> you should probably do your hair today. <laughs> what? <laughs> now I have to show it. <laughs> Just cinnamon. Just cinnamon. Just don't worry about it. It's fine. Okay. Well, if it gets more cinnamon on it, it'll taste more than it Good boy. Just get a little sprinkle it around there. That way. Ready? You push that side, I'll push this side. Yeah. Together, all together now. Roll it really tight. Got it? Yeah. Very nice. Okay. Alright, she's tasting the cinnamon roll. Okay. Mm -hmm. And? Mm -hmm. No one needs you. 
You don't need no card trick. You don't need no sleight of hand. Don't need a rabbit or a hat to help me understand. I don't need convincing. That girl. It's so easy to see. Every little thing you do is magic to me. It just comes so natural. You don't even have to try. When we touch, the fairy dust makes me wanna fly. I used to be a skeptic. This drink of water. Just regular or water? Just regular water. See, just regular. Okay. Regular. Like that? Yeah. Okay. Okay, close your eyes. No, no, they watch you move them so okay. they can remember which one. So say, remember which one has the water in it? Remember which one has the water in it. Okay. Okay. Which one? Which one has the water in it? Which one has water in it, James? Uh, the middle one? Uh -huh. The middle one. So all the way upside down? Yep. Okay. What? What? It's snow. You poured water in it. <laughs> Ta da! Ta da! <laughs> and that is how you perfectly make snow. <laughs> oh, Cameron, let me do this part. What the in my head? <laughs> 
Time for cake! Yeah. <laughs> we should start reading it tomorrow. Kids are huddled up. The suspense is killing us. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> Feels like Toy Story. It's a, it's a, I don't know. They're in the way. I can't see it. It's a, it's a. <laughs> Happy birthday!